In the golf swing, there's a weight shift to the right and there's a weight shift to the left in the downswing. I can do the same thing as I'm rotating with this club on my shoulders. Again, hinge forward, get that club pointing somewhere slightly outside of the, what would be the golf ball. And as I come to my backswing, I want to pause as I'm at the top of my backswing. And if I had this club drop straight down, it would kind of hit on the inside of my left leg. So imagine if I was just to drop this straight down, it kind of hit on the inside of my left foot here. If my leg wasn't in the way, that club would drop down and hit the ground about right there. What I don't want to do is I don't want to sway to the right and go way over here. That club would drop down way outside my foot. That would be too much movement laterally. I'd get inconsistent because my eyes are moving too far to the right and I'd have to move them back to the left on the downswing. I don't also want to have a reverse pivot, which would be something more like this. Whereas if I drop that club, it would be hitting more over toward my left foot. Again, that's going to create inconsistency because now I'm coming back to the left in my backswing. I'm going to have to fall to the right in my downswing. Plus, I'm going to lose a lot of power as I'm doing that. So that's the next piece. Let's go ahead and grab that club again. Do another four or five reps right along with me. Good rotation. Club over the right instep of my right foot. As I come through now, the club is going to be on the instep of my left foot. So I've let my weight shift to the left. My right toe has swiveled off the ground. And now I'm getting at least that 90 degrees of turn as I'm staying in my posture. Again, let's go ahead and rotate back. Let your left foot lift a little bit. Rotate through. Let your right foot pivot or rotate on around. Make sure you get that good turn. If you want to go a little extra, maybe you're a little bit more flexible, go to the whatever the range of flexibility you have is completely fine. I'm going to go ahead and go a little past that if I can. As I come through, I'm going to go a little past that. As long as I keep my club pointing to the ground, then I'm completely fine. I can go as far as my range of motion will let me. So if you're a little bit tighter, you may not go as far, but go as far as you can. 